Uh, what's going on, Fearless? Yeah, you smart. I'm sorry? I had smoke. I had, you smart. I had smoke for you last week, this morning, and you kept me on that call so long. It all, dude, I only got a little bit of fuzzle for you. Huh? But I'm going to get the call you just had. Man, it took all my energy out. But I'm still going to bring this smoke to you. Oh, I'm okay. bring you to the front of the congregation. Got I it. know you rarely admit that you're wrong. So I hope this time you do. Uh, you made a suggestion that was dangerous, ignorant, and you never took in account possible repercussions. I'm going to tell you, you did a reaction video to Tucker Carlson and Ice Cube. In that video, you said, and I quote, because I don't want you to change it, went to your transcripts and got it. Mm. It's the nature. I'd rather have a Batman that break the law in order to make sure that we catch the criminal then have somebody who has to operate within the law in order to make sure to make you happy. Mm -hmm. As of right now, across America, we need a Batman. Real talk, we need a vigilante. Do you know what a vigilante is? Well, I looked it up. That's the person that takes the law in their own hands. And when you have a vigilante, you have somebody like Emmett Till, and they took the law into their own hands. When you have vigilantes, you have people to show up at the jail in a mob, drag a brother out and hang him. When you have vigilantes, you have people like George Zimmerman that killed Trayvon uh, Martin. And so the reason you have a lot of people even in jail is because some cop got the idea that he wanted to be above the law. He wanted to be a vigilante and he wanted to beat the confession out of somebody. That's what a vigilante does. Mm. So. The means don't justify the ends, and those persons should be the judge, jury, and executioner. So when you say that people should be vigilantes and you step outside the law, let me ask you, where is that line? Then? Who draws the line? You just did a whole show about Fanny, uh, was it Fanny about what she was doing to prosecute Trump. Mm -hmm. So does her end justify the means? Or you can go look it up. Go look it up. I, I can tell you where it's at if you want to find your transcript. You said it, and I would quote, right now, across America, we need Batman. Real talk, we need to be a vigilante. You said uh, we have to break the law. We need Batman to break the law in order to make sure he catches the criminals. So what, what law should we break to catch the criminals, Anton? And then after this smoke, I do have a, a question that's a little more nice. So that was your that was your smoking gun. That's my smoke. No, no, no. I, I was, I'm because, just want to make sure. I want to make sure. That's my smoke because, <laughs> because if your daughter came home, you got a new you in a new neighborhood. Your daughter comes home. Nobody knows who she is because you're in a new neighborhood. If somebody wants to test out her taekwondo on her, because they a vigilante, they gonna you know they crossing the law. They doing what's good. They've been to George Zimmerman. You'll find that that's wrong. I just think when you put your that very definition there, of how you apply vigilante is not vigilante, the is person not, who takes the law into their own hands. But they're not doing it based off of the law. They're doing it just to hurt people. That's not what a vigilante is. The vi a vigilante is doing a thing that they honestly believe is right. The example okay. when when they, when they stop no 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 George Zimmerman thought he was right. George Zimmerman think he was right. No, no, no. The one thing you're not gonna do is you're not gonna extend this you're not gonna not extend the same respect to me that I extended to you. I was let's go, brother. We smoke. No, ain't no let's go. No, ain't no let's go. We're gonna set the precedent because I let you talk the entire time uninterrupted. If you cannot let me talk, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. I already know what you're If I'm interrupted one more time, if I'm interrupted one more time on my own platform when I extended you grace and I let you get the entire thing off and then I confirmed by asking you, oh, that was your smoking gun? You done? If you don't extend to me the same grace, because listen, I'm not going to argue back and forth with you. I'm just going to smoke you. All right. So it's a difference. And if you can't extend to me the same grace on my platform, because I know you hate watching. You know how I know you hate watching? I love watching you. Give me one second. I know you hate watching. Because I watched your platform and you couldn't wait to even do a reaction video on me about some other stuff that you was completely wrong about. 
So I know your type. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm I, sorry. You are operating in your femininity because you cannot be quiet long you enough. You but let me now extend up, with. Okay, you, you know what? I got to be a man of my word. I got to let you go. I got to let you go. Because if you can't control yourself, if you can't control yourself, I got to let you, I got to be a man of my word. If y'all going to continue to operate in your femininity and you not even going to let me be able to talk on my own platform when I extended you courtesy and grace to say whatever it is that you wanted to say, I got to let you go. Now, let me tell the people now that I can talk uninterrupted on my own platform. I got to start being Kevin Samuels out in this bitch. Let me tell the people what's really going on. So what they decided to do is they decided to use a false narrative in order to prove something. But he's wrong. Because his definition of vigilante is being is not applicable. It's not ap he's using. So, for example, he wanted to use the example and say, well, if somebody decided that they just wanted to beat up your daughter and test her Taekwondo, that's the very de definition of a vigilante. That's not the definition of a vigilante. That's the definition of a bona fide evil criminal. A vigilante is a, is a person that has to go outside of the law to do the thing that they know is the right thing to do. Despite the fact them knowing that the law is prohibiting them from administer administering real justice. Now, the only debate that he could have in this conversation is whether or not you are right or you're wrong as far as what you think is the right side of the law is. So, for example, we all know that somebody killing somebody is wrong, right? But the right or the wrong side of the law would be, do you think that this person should die as a result of them killing them, or should they be locked up? But we all fundamentally know what is right and what is wrong. We also can apply the law and we can say, well, listen, if they were never convicted, even though we know that they all did it, they still should be free. But a vigilante will say, no, you need to pay for your crimes because we all understand that what you did was wrong. But the application of what that law is, the application of how it is that we should solve for this problem as far as a scourge in our community is the thing that then makes them a vigilante is because they take the law into their own hands. You can't apply it by saying, oh, I'm just going to do something evil to you. And that's being a vigilante. That's not what a vigilante is. And so these people are so gung ho on trying to prove me wrong instead of operating in honesty, truth and transparency and being real about what their argument is. They so mad at the fact that I didn't torch them on previous subjects that now they want to come up here. They want to interrupt me. They think that they're going to bully me on my own platform because I extend them grace. But in reality, they're wrong. If you are a criminal and you're doing criminal shit in order to harm other people just for the sake of being a criminal, that's different than being a vigilante. A vigilante is a person that's crusading for the right reasons. They're actually trying to make their community a better thing. You can't make your community a better thing by just running up on my daughter and beating her the fuck up. And I don't even know why you would use that as an example. Who the fuck thinks about somebody else's kid and think to use as an example somebody running up on their children? That's some evil shit just by, de by default. That is an evil perspective just by default. So then I have to start questioning what your true intentions are. And the reason that you don't want to let me speak is because the very first example that you use and the multiple different examples that you use in order to illustrate what a vigilante is was wrong. It was 10 times over wrong, and you recognized that it was wrong. You didn't want me to speak because you knew that I was going to fuck you up. And when you let people talk long enough, they're going to hang themselves. So I am glad to let you guys get off your thoughts. I'm glad to let you guys continue to say what y'all want to say because you can't fuck with me. You can't debate me. I already did researched you. The minute that you came up here, I already knew what you were because people had already sent me the shit that you were saying before that. I respect you for even being able to say something to me in the first place, but I don't respect your inability to be able to communicate effectively, and we know that you're wrong, and you can't fuck with me, and it ain't nothing that you said that actually substantiates your argument, and just because you want to move the goalposts and apply things that ain't even relevant to what a vigilante is, don't mean that you got a point. And yes, we do. I stand on what the fuck I said. I said it, and I'm going to say it again. At this point in America... Because the people that are supposed to be upholding the laws, for example, 
the migration into America and them not protecting our borders and using that as a political pawn in order to send money over into other countries that ain't got nothing to do with the, the interests in America is absolutely something that, for example, Greg Abbott is now going outside of what the federal government is mandating that he do in order to protect the borders in, in, in Texas. And all of the Republican governors are starting to ban along with him and send their resources and their troops over to their protect the border because that's what's in the best interest of all of us, not just what's in Texas. So technically, Greg Abbott is a vigilante because he's going outside of what federal law is talking about in order to protect the borders of Texas for what's in the best interest of the residents. That's the true definition of a vigilante. Greg Abbott is a modern day vigilante. And some people would rather leave our borders open because they don't like Trump then actually do the thing that's in their own best interest. But it's not until they at your doorstep in Chicago and New York and Denver and Atlanta to where y'all start paying attention and you saying, you know what, maybe we did get it wrong. That's the true definition of a vigilante, a modern day vigilante. So we can use Batman as a reference, but Greg Abbott, Greg Abbott is a real life vigilante because he stepped outside of what the Biden administration is saying that he's supposed to do in order to do the right thing in the best interest of the people. So please miss me with that. Please miss me with y'all weak arguments. You can't fuck with me. You can't fuck with me. I'm ready for anybody that got smoke for me. This is after hours. This is the only thing that I ask you to do is respect the platform. If you can't I extend the same level of respect, then I can't give it to you. I can't give it to you. Now, I don't give a fuck how many reaction videos y'all make. I don't give a fuck. Keep my name in the algorithm. I'm all for it. But you can't fuck with me. They quote me. They write my quotes down. They study in my work. And I'm still that motherfucker. I'm still him. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. Talk to me about a vigilante. I am the vigilante. <sighs> now I'm going to let the people decide. Y'all want to move over to the next story or y'all want to talk to another caller? It's up to y'all. It's up to y'all. Y'all want to move over to something else or y'all want to take the next caller? This is the people show. This is the people show. I know what I said. I don't need no quotes. I know what I said. I know what I said. This is the people show. Chat lives matters. Now they want to hit the dislike button. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Just hit the button, motherfuckers. <laughs> Shit. Now, <laughs> let me look in the chat and see what the people are saying. You see the people? The people voted for me. I'm the people's champ. I'm the people's champ. I'm still here. Because I'm the people's champ. The people love me. I'm the king, king. Can't nobody talk to me? Trifecta. You looked it up. You said it in the chat. You just looked it up. AD is right. 